welcome to episode, I think this is 109 of How to Draw Duty Live with me, Sam Ewell Vera. And uh, this episode is brought to you by... We have just a few reasons why you should pick up a copy of this Nearly in My Toilet, book number three, I Chihuahua, today. Welcome. Welcome to another episode of How. Hold on a second. Welcome. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, gotta make sure the sound check is ready. Another episode of How to Draw Duty Live with me. I'm your host, Sam the Crazy Man Vera, host of Catch the Crazy Podcast. I'm an independent comic book creator. I've been doing this for, for a long time. Since, I, I've, since I've been dreaming about it as a kid to now trying to make it a reality. So I want to remind everybody that my campaign is going on right now. There's an alien in my toilet on Kickstarter. If you haven't done so already, I would love for you to get yourself a copy of uh, book number three. Um, if you haven't read book one and two, they're available on the campaign as well. And if you're not sure if you want to get the start, um, the physical, there's always a digital tier. But this is um, I Chihuahua book number three right here. And I keep picking up the same covers. Oh. Oh, wrong cover. Sorry. <laughs> All right. There it is. So there it is right there. So you can pick between either cover. Um, so this is the same price. So when I send out the surveys, if you like this cover over this cover, you have that option. And um, there's also, if you're a Shining fan, Jack Nicholson fan, or, you know, Halloween's around the corner, there's the homage. Here's Duty cover. This is available as well. But then there's also a second story. There's Duty's Monsters on Planet Cthulhu right here. Um, I love my character, Duty. I am most proud of this here because it's the first, since I've come back into comics in 2019, it's the first book that I've worked on 100% from start to finish by myself. Um, writing, lettering, inking, coloring, the whole bit, I've done it. It's a full color. It's an amazing story. It's, this is part one of three. And this is the only time that you'll be able to get this on the same campaign as there's nail on my toilet, uh, because this won't will be a separate campaign going forward. Duty's Monsters will be on its own campaign going forward. And there's also a sketchbook, a custom sketchbook. If you're an artist, a creator, or if you have a child who is an artist, a creator, they get their custom duty sketchbook, right, with an amazing graphic on the front. And as a thank you, I will start off you or your child with a sketch by me on the cover. And then finally, if you're a parent and you're like, I'm not sure if my four-year-old, uh, if Disney in my toilet is, is too mature for my four-year-old. Um, Disney in my toilet is for all ages. But if you're still on the fence, there's Duty's Adventures. This is a picture book, um, different from other picture books. With every page turn, on the right-hand side, there's the story. On the left-hand side, there's questions about the story that the guardian or parent can um, uh, go through with the child and ask questions. And it's fun. It's interactive. And then not only that, but at the end of the book, there's three pages dedicated for the child to be able to write their own story. So if they feel like duty um, should have done this or that, they can write their own story, their own ending, and they have an additional three pages to draw their own characters. So that's very interactive, very fun for the child and the guardian, the parent to have fun with. So if you're not sure if you want to get Disney in my toilet for your four-year-old, Duty's Adventures is perfect for that four-year-old. It's a great bedtime story, it's a great adventure story, and it's a great starting point to trigger the cre creative mind in the youth. Um, so the campaign is there now. I hope that you go and pledge. Um, you know, we have 17 days left. And thank you to the four new backers last night um, for supporting the campaign. And uh, I truly appreciate you. And you are certain you're going to laugh. You're going to laugh. And, uh, 
you know, laugh with me. Who doesn't want to laugh? I want to laugh all day, every day. So when we're going to start the show, we're going to go and draw duty as a sheriff part two. Um, and he's getting ready to draw yesterday. You saw, and I'll, I'll walk you through it in a second, but before we start, we got to start the promo. So, uh, let's get that going and we'll get the show on the road. Here it is. Hi, I'm Vera. Wait, hold on. I'm Vera. Well, we're both Veras. Anyway, welcome to Drawing Duty, where I take my favorite character, Buderish Uranius, from There's an Alien in My Toilet, and I put him in all sorts of costumes, from your most iconic characters to just a pirate, or even a Thundercat, or a bandit. Well, every day, I take duty and I have fun, and I'm glad that you're here to have fun with me. If you have time, please check out DutiesWorld.com. And if you like this episode and every episode before it, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much, and let's start drawing. Okay, welcome back. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> Not welcome back. I'm back, but welcome back to everybody who's watching the show. So yesterday you saw me do this one. And so today, and this was Sheriff Duty. He's contemplating what he's going to have to do um, to rustle up some backers. So today we're going to take it a step further with Duty. Uh, now he really means business. He's really going to go and uh, get you get some backers out there. So he's on a mission. Um, so um, I just have to say, you brought him to this point. Duty's at this space, this point right now because he you you haven't pulled the trigger. So uh, he's going to do what he can to convince you to pull that trigger and get yourself a copy because duty and i really want you to laugh um and have fun with us and um so what do you see here what do you see here it's like what's what is this sam i don't understand what this is I want it like this. Yeah, I think I do. Should I? Uh, let's see, because I'm going to have. I want this like this. I'm going to have the belly, the dudes to belly. Uh, all right. I have to bring that belly a little higher because this looks like um, let's bring that belly a little higher. That erase is too big. There we go. Yeah, I want that belly there to start there. There you go. This is where the belly should start. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta get that. I'm gonna get another hand here. I watched, um, what's it called? Shadow Man or The Gray Man? The Gray Man? Ryan Gosling last night. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I don't like that. I think I want to turn that. I don't like what I just did there. Sticker app. I get all these alerts on my phone. So one thing is like, 
you when you, um, I have so much spam on my phone. It's crazy. I want this like this. There you go. I want that like that. And let's do that. Uh, I think that's the shape I'm looking for. Got to get that belt here. The big old buckle. Comic. I got another subscriber. Thank you so much. A oh, follower on my social media. Okay. I think I know it's gonna be the other way. Well, yeah, because you see, should do this way. No, I want that way. I like that way. Yeah, this this one should be that way too. Let's get this all way. Uh, shout out to. Uh, Keith Murphy just launched his campaign, um, The Road to Valhalla. I think um, Sarah Cook launches hers tomorrow. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of campaigns being launched. Duty doesn't wear cowboy boots like everybody else. Um, I was watching this documentary. Oh, it's not a documentary. It was like a, it's like a, a video on um, Bill Watterson and Calvin and Hobbes and his stance against licensing his brand and um, how much um, earning potential he lost because of this stance on um, the uh, not licensing his brand. Um, which is a uh, free, you know, it's a, uh, I think we all would love to be able to have licensing, right? I think, you know, because licensing means wealth, you know, income. Um, I'll put that like this. He's going to have that vest, right? So. Uh, I'll put the collar there. All right. And then he has to have that sheriff badge right there. So I'm gonna put the, I mean, normally the badge is on the other side, but I'm going to put it on the left side. Forget it. I had it on the left side last time, so I'm going to put it on the left side again. Um, Alright, there's the sheriff's badge. He's got the guns on the side. Let's get the eyes going. Dude, he's ready. He's ready to draw. Click on the draw, McGraw. Um, he's like, where are you? You're supposed to be at the Kickstarter. So I'm going to take you now. So you're going to make... You See, here's the problem. You brought duty to this point. This is your own doing. You know, you have no one to blame but yourself. He had to go out there. Put on his sheriff gear and find you. 
So that's what he's doing now. Duty's out there to find you. Right? He's going to get you. You know, so. All right, so there is. Let's bring him down a little bit. Right there. Yeah, I want him down right there because I need some of the top for whatever background I'm going to decide to do in a second. So let's get that top going. And if you like this channel and you like my work, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, Chuck definitely would appreciate it. And again, thank you uh, for supporting my Kickstarter. Uh, your support is certainly, certainly welcomed and appreciated. It's hard enough, you know, doing an all ages book. Um, in today's world, where the adult themed content is really dominating the scene and the space. So, for everybody that supports me, it's just another win for the little guys that are really want to uh, continue to have like just good old fun available for ourselves for kids like I love comedy uh, I love comedy movies when done right um, you know I prefer to laugh over anything else. Join me today at three o'clock. I will be on The Madness with Pops Van Zant. Um, that'll be fun. Oh, my dogs. Any reason to uh, bark, they'll find it. Anyway, I love Calvin and Hobbes. Um, I just backed, well, I didn't just back a few weeks ago. I backed um, Derek Kaufman's um, Ham and Eggs. I thought that's really, really cool. Um, I love his art style. Uh, there's a guy named Ben Benders who does uh, The Littlest Viking. I like his art style. Um, Jake Parker. I love his art style. You know, when I was a kid, uh, even as a teenager, you know, my mom, you know, raising three boys and a girl it's not an easy feat you know on our own and um, my mom used to get get up to work you know five in the morning to go to work and no matter what time she got up I used to make it a point to get up before she hit that door just to let her know how much I love her um, and uh, when I was a kid I was the type that if I felt it I had to share it and you know my mom was like she was she was everything she was my best friend she was everything to me so um it's one of the things i told my wife is like you know before we go to bed i want to make sure you know this and uh when we wake up that's the first thing we should say to each other you know life is precious and make sure the people around you know how much you feel about them or what you feel about them.
You know, Duty doesn't realize he has uh, his his pants are oversized, and that's duty for you. Duty does what duty does. So I started doing Uber Eats as a means to uh, get a little extra money in my pockets. And after 20 trips and only 10 out of 20 tipped, I gave up. I said, forget this. You know, you're sitting in traffic, you're, you're delivering, you're, you're, you're driving everywhere, you're putting in more miles. And um, uh, and then uh, to not get a tip after you spent 45 minutes driving and delivering something, I was like, this is not worth it. So for those of you who do it, you know, I understand, but it's not for me. You know, because you don't make much with Uber itself. You know, the most you pay get per trip is twelve dollars. So you need those tips to uh, supplement that. And um, when people think it's okay that someone's gone out of their way to to deliver your food because you didn't want to go down the block or drive for a half hour and go get caught, caught in traffic and put the wear and tear in your vehicle and some of these roads are horrible. I think it's just wrong. So I gave up. I said, forget this. I'll find another way. Zoom out for a second. Boom, boom. All right, he's looking kind of ornery. I gotta have that there. Uh, I could do this. This goes here. That's there. Let's get that a little bit there. Let's take out the pencils for a second. All right, we're ready. And then I'll do the backgrounds afterwards. So, so again, so this is Sheriff Duty. So yesterday, you seen Duty? He's like, look, wanted backers wanted. He gave the warning. He gave everybody the warning. He says, I'm coming for you. Now, today, he means business. No one showed up, so he's like, you know what? Today, we mean business. It's time to get those backers. So he's looking for you. He's going out there to find you. You know, and uh, I'm going to keep the colors consistent. So drop the colors in. Oh, look at that.
All right, now I have to uh, get this up. Get in here. Okay. The vest is, so the vest, the belt, and the straps. Okay, and that piece. I just want to make sure I get all everything consistent. The straps, the belt. And the vest. This is going to be a little darker back there. There you go. Okay. Then the shirt is what color? I want to keep everything consistent. This is a certain brown. And the buttons are dark brown, so I'll do that later. That's gold. What color? That color. I like that black. The darker brown, there you go. Oh, and then the shield's gold, too. All right, zoom out. All right, dude, he's coming along. Oh, there's gray. Oh, that should be brown. All right, now there's another layer for duty.
It's a big forearm, dude. We gotta change something up here. Hold on. So what we're gonna do here is there you go. Look at that there. The same thing here. Then I see these things that you know when I when I rush. I'm not digging some of these um, lines. All right. Zoom in. Yeah, so I see these little white spots and it drives me nuts. Okay, go back to view. All right, zoom out. Okay, so there's duty. Getting ready to draw on and bring some people over to Kickstarter. So let's um, multiply. Start with the jeans. If you haven't seen the new episode of the Crazy Nintendo Less, check it out. I just put it up. Basically, um, I talk about um, how being an artist without knowing um, if you're not positioned correctly, uh, seated correctly, how it can lead to physical ailments. And uh, I know this because when I started doing this full time drawing full time I started getting neck neck and back pains and shoulder pains and so I started looking it up 
and you know my, my chair had a lot to do with it my posturing had a lot to do with it so uh, and then I not then I started exercising more um, to combat and prevent further damage to my body uh, it takes its toll uh, it's hard to think that being an artist you know that, that that's possible but it is So if you're going to be in Texas next week, come and check me out at the Cowtown Comic Con. I mean, actually, not Cowtown. Um, check me out at the um, Dallas Fan Festival. I'll be there all three days. It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. They just sent me my table assignment, so I'm gonna check it out. I haven't looked where I might when I'm in position last time. It was an okay position. Um, I think my first spot that I had was a better position. And I got uh, when I got there they moved me without telling me. Um, this is why I'm not promoting my table location. It doesn't it doesn't it's not worth promoting it for the fan festival because um, they reserve the right to move you without you knowing. Um, so I don't want to tell you one thing 
and then next you know I'm some other location so but I'll be there just go to Artist Alley find me look for the banner that says uh, there's nearly my toilet or art of Sam art of Vera Oh, I realized I didn't, uh, I'll just do this. There you go. Yeah, so today at three o'clock I'll be on the madness with Pops Van Zant. So join me there. That'll be fun. Shout out to Pops for, for fitting me in. Tomorrow I'll be on a podcast with Lori Calcaterra, and then uh, at nine o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time I'll be on with Norge Around. So join me there. Boom! There it is. Look at duties. He's uh, starting to come through. Look at him. He's ready for some action.
All right. So there he is. So should I? Oh, sorry. I had to stretch. Yeah, I think I'm going to put him on a patch of dirt. So let's. Let's get some brown action going here. Patch of dirt. Nothing. Okay. Let's hide him for a second. Drop this in. Boom. Okay. Let's get the spray can. Let's multiply. this maybe a little higher then what I'll do is this right and do a little lighter get some effects maybe Mix it up a little bit and then maybe on top of that do a couple of rocks All right so let's get some rocks That's like a gray. Maybe, yeah, there, yeah let's, let's, let's see. Let's, oh, see what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't want that. Yeah, I wanna just dump, because what happens is, you know, trying to dump the colors and the stones that I'm drawing. Um, it's not, it goes into the background. Multiply. Some of this, zoom in. Get some of, first, let me fix this up. Oh, what, what happened there? Got here, zoom out. I mean, I put those rocks there for a reason, but you can't even see them now. Now, right, let me um, let 
Oh, well, whatever. I'll just put those two there. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Hide you for a second. I'm going to take this one. Command X. Command V. And let's see where you are. There you go. Boom. I don't want it to be there. You can put it right there. All right, cool. So I got that. And so I think I'm going to draw a cactus. So let's get a cactus in there. Like a, like a lime is green. That's just a good color, right? So if I do, how did it, I guess it goes like this. First and foremost, I need that cactus in front. There it is, I need it there. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to do Okay, there's the cactus. And just jump the color in the cactus. But in order to do that, I gotta hide duty and I gotta hide the bottom. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. I can put you guys back in. So now with the cactus, what I wanna do is I wanna take, diff get some um, lines in there. Maybe this, right? Just to differentiate. Oh, you know what I'm supposed to do? I don't want to do that. There it is. This way. duty for a second All right then I'm gonna take this line one because gotta get some where's the light coming from To do that like that, but now multiply. to be crazy crazy maybe like there you go and maybe some uh Thinner. 
Oh, I actually don't want to do that. Yeah, I want to do that. There you go. So now where's the this is the ground? Yeah. So where's the multiply? Spray paint. Put this down here. That maybe like uh All right, and then where's duty? There's the cactus, and then let's get a sky going. So let me add these guys into a folder. I like folders because you can move things, hide things. But now let's get a sky going. So we'll do square sky, or let me get blue. Blue. Uh, let's see. Like, uh, No, I don't like that. Zoom out for a second. Okay, there's the blue sky. Let's hide you for a second. Hide, 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 hide. There it is. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. There's the blue sky. There's Sheriff Duty's getting ready to do his thing. Um, let's get. Uh, let's do some what I normally do. some darkness in the bottom uh, get some clouds But I think what I want for this is, let's get that spray can. Let's get this thinner. Just so I can, uh, make it a little, boom. So this is, you know what, let me, the, where's the cactus? Is this the cactus? Yes, it is. Let's make this cactus a little darker at the bottom. Spray can. A little bit darker at the bottom. And maybe I'll do this. Yeah. 
Yeah. Boom. Hmm. Should I add? I'm looking at it on the other screen. Should I add maybe a sun in the background? Let's. Nah, I think this should that this should work. It's gonna complete white. So there it is. Boom. All right. So maybe because I did that, let's, um, is this duty? Yes, it is. Let's go to. Overlay. Let's do like a sky blue. Tad bit and then do the same thing with you. Overlay. Just a tad bit. Go back to you for a second. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is Sheriff Duty. He's ready to draw on you. He wants to get you to the Kickstarter. Are you ready to back the campaign? I hope that you do, because it is funny. Um, it is fun for all, everybody, for the whole family to enjoy. Uh, I would love for you to get a copy of this in my Twitter today on Kickstarter. Uh, this is what you're looking for on Kickstarter. Again, thank you for the four new backers of the campaign last night. I truly appreciate your support. With that said, this is How to Draw Duty Live. And again, if you like this episode, you know, uh, subscribe, like, share, give me a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. Help me grow this channel. Thank you again. So if everybody out there, keep drawing, keep, you know, keep the imagination going, keep being creative. Don't stop believing. Until next time. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that like button, share it with a friend, and pick up a copy of this nail in my toilet on dutiesworld.com. See you next time. Have a great day.